welcome back to Inside Guelph. We're in for a treat. We have the Mayor of Guelph on, Mayor Farbridge. Thank you for being here. Yeah, my pleasure. Now, we're here to talk about it. You're here to talk about the benefits of the Handling Creek Business Park, correct? Yeah, well, I yeah. thought um, Council unanimously supports this project, and so I thought it might be worthwhile explaining to the community why. Um, yeah. Why there's such strong support for moving forward at the Council level. And it's a project that's very crucial to the future of our community. It's going to allow us to attract new jobs into our community, new investment into our community. And with that comes a, a more talent, uh, balanced tax base as well. So very important for us as we look to manage the future of our community that we have the tax base in place to be able to provide the services and facilities and programs that our community is looking for. Okay. Whether it's recreation or cultural facilities or policing and, and other types of services in our community. So, and, and the other the, and I know there's been a lot of concerns around the environmental aspects of it. Um, it's been um, developed, the environmental design itself is a model for other communities and has been look, is being looked at by other communities um, in terms of how we've treated some of the environmental issues on the property. Um, it's been designed to protect the heritage maple grove. That's of particular interest for parts of our community. It's been designed to protect the provincially significant wetlands. Um, so there's a lot of environmental protection, but we're also doing a lot of restoration as well. So mm -hmm. we're increasing the tree canopy from about 26 to 35 percent. And we're bringing some land that's really part of the natural heritage area, but has been pulled into agricultural land. So we're bringing that back into the natural heritage area and, and re-establishing it as meadowland. So okay. it's really a project that balances um, the economy and the social side of our community and the environmental side. This is it. Now, can we do, do jobs and environment coexist? Can we make that happen? It seems like they are mutually combative. No, I think absolutely we have to make them exist. Um, we have to find, uh, to be sustainable as a community, it's not just about environmental sustainability. We have to look at social sustainability. We have to look at economic sustainability. Um, and uh, as a, being involved in municipal government, I don't have the luxury of just being in one of those silos. We have to be in all of them, and we have to learn how we can integrate them and balance them all off. And that takes that means a lot of give and take, a lot of dialogue, a lot of understanding. But I, I do believe that not only do we um, can we we have to you to have build a, to to build a good community. And are you, and we're also receiving pressure in terms of um, what we need to do with growth. You've been given a directive for growth. We have to um, uh, accommodate about 54,000 more people over the next 25 years um, to um, focusing them in into the urban center so that we reduce sprawl be beyond our boundaries. Okay. Um, and we need jobs for those people. Um, to so keep the job balance, we need 31,000 more jobs. And if we, in the royal we, um, don't accommodate that growth would the province just take over and then we might not have as great environmental control? So it certainly, I mean, we have been mandated by the province. We have been mandated to change our official plan, and we have done that. We had until July of this year to do that, so we've changed our official plan. And so now it's a question of how do we bring those people in in a way um, that we protect the environment, um, that we ensure that we um, look after the social aspects of our community, and, and that we can afford it as well. That's going to be one of our big issues moving forward is, is how we afford to accommodate that growth in, in the community so that it doesn't become a burden on the existing taxpayer. And one of the ways to do that is to make sure you've got jobs and employment lands because the, that, that, that tax dollar helps to take the burden off our residents. It's a big job you have. <laughs> now how can people reach you if you're, you've got a blog and that this is, you're very transparent, people can reach you? Well so I have an email, mayor at guelph.ca, so it's Great. fairly easy to remember and so people can get me through email. Um, they can phone me at 837-5643, um, that's the mayor's office number, and my blog. Guelph Mayor blog, Google it and you'll find it. I love it. that, yeah, that's a sign of the times. So our mayor <laughs> has a blog. Thank you very much for Thank being you. here. Uh, when we get back, we're going to be talking about the Guelph Food Bank. This is very important. We're launching our Thanksgiving food drive. We'll see you back here in a minute.